But first, an update to a story we first brought you as breaking news last night on the news at 11. The father of the five year old little girl mauled by a pack of dogs at a home on the east side says she is improving. A man who lives at that home is also in police custody for past violations regarding his dogs. Jason Colthorpe is live at St. John Hospital where that little girl remains in critical condition tonight. Jason. Uh, these dogs, as they're explained to me by uh, Detroit police, are no specific breed, but uh, a mix, mix of dogs. And what they did is they did most of the damage to the little girl in her midsection. They also nipped her ear and bit her once on the head. Now, her father talked to me a little while ago about those terrifying moments that happened just 10 minutes after they arrived at that house. If I were waited another five seconds, my daughter could have been dead. Instead, five-year-old John A is alive and doing better today. She's doing all right. No, man, they ain't really doing much bad to it. That's what just took out some skin. They ain't hitting no organs or nothing like that. They got it real bad, though. Her father, who doesn't want to be identified, says they'd been to the home on Holcomb before, and John A had even played with some of the dogs. But this time, it was different as soon as she went outside. I just heard, Daddy, Daddy. Daddy. He says it looked like 15 dogs attacking his little girl. Man, it was just brutal to see your daughter just laying there getting her guts tore out by some dogs. He jumped in and fought the dogs off, even suffering some bites to his hand himself. Police tell me they took 12 dogs away from two properties owned by the same person. Police have 48 year old Kenny Wiseman in custody for some outstanding traffic violations and a misdemeanor warrant for a prior incident of his dogs biting someone and for failing to turn those dogs in. Not my anger, I didn't be angry about it. Maybe it wasn't his fault. I just think it's my fault because I should never took over there. Yeah, blaming himself a little bit on there. Uh, the family tells me. This little girl is expected to be in the hospital for at least two weeks, but her father was very uh, optimistic about her being able to make pretty much a full recovery, and that's the good news tonight. Live at St. John Hospital, Jason Colt of Local 4. So, and Jason, you say that this man is a family friend, the owner of the dogs, but does the father want him to be prosecuted for this? I asked him that, Kim, and he, he basically said, he didn't want to answer, no comment, but uh, as he told me the story, the owner of the dogs, he said, left for a moment, and then the incident happened, and then he returned, and he simply asked, what happened? He didn't say he was sorry or, or anything like that. However, I did talk to that man's brother today, and he said he's very shaken up by all of this. So, sure, but Kim. hopefully the little girl will be okay and pull through. Okay, Jason, thanks.